check this out. This is my shit. This is my <laughs> shit. Well, Kamala Harris is Jamaican and Indian. Does that make her an African American? I don't know. But the ironic thing is, a lot of black people are going to vote for her for that very reason. When she wouldn't pick a black person for anything, she didn't even pick one to marry. That should tell you something. I take that back. She would choose a black person for something. She'd choose them to arrest, keep in jail, and even keep on death row. So let's take a look at Kamala Harris's background. So it says here, she kept nonviolent criminals in jail to put out forest fires. So basically, these prisoners were being used as slave labor. These were nonviolent criminals that had a chance to be released. So Kamala Harris is pro-prison and pro-slave labor. Okay, so if you're going to vote for Kamala Harris just because she's black, take a look at this. So she opposed DNA testing that might get an innocent black man off a death row. So take a look. After she got a lot of backlash, Kamala Harris suddenly changed her position and came out in favor of the testing. And the false passport is, I'm the first African-American woman. Now, this is actually problematic on two fronts. First of all, African-American in the American context refers to connected to the legacy of slavery. That's what it means. Kamala Harris isn't. In that sense, she's like Obama. Obama's father was a Kenyan, so he was half Kenyan and half white. Kamala Harris is half Jamaican and half Asian Indian. But the point of her trying to travel on this false passport is really clear. The morality tale, the whole notion of first black woman on the ticket, is based upon the idea that, hey, here is a descendant of slaves, somebody from the lowest of the low, if you will, on the social stratum, who is now moving into a position where she could be inches from the White House. But of course, the truth in this case is the exact opposite. It's not here is a descendant of slaves. It's more accurate to say here is a descendant of the largest slave owner in Jamaica who is inches away from the Oval Office. And that doesn't quite have the same um, poignant ring, does it?